Hi friends. So by now you are ready with your online course. You've done your preparation, prepared well, worked hard on your instructional design, ready with the Moodle course, all your content populated, your presentations, your quizzes, all set to enter the field. Now, uh, there is a certain skill set that teachers require. It's just that you have to be very perceptive and very aware in your class to ensure that both you as well as the students have an enriching teaching and learning experience. So I'm going to share a few skills. First, I'll start with the technological uh, aid. When you are doing this web conferencing, you have the option of asking questions. There's a poll option that you will see in your tutorial of how to use the big blue button interface. So basically the pedagogical aspect is that your class has to be interactive. Use those polls to ask questions, to keep the children alert and thinking and applying whatever you're teaching. It helps you to understand where your class is heading, whether you they need reinforcement, whether you can continue, whether is anyone sleeping? I hope not. But this is, uh, please use these polls, just make it interactive. Now coming to the specific skills that I was talking about. So I'm just going to tell you all of these skills quite you know, quickly so that you are aware and, you know, perceptive of these situations and skills and you apply them and use them in your life class. So number one is that, uh, how are you introducing a concept? The introduction matters a lot. Ensure that you are introducing something in a meaningful way. Though I've discussed this before that the way you introduce is very important, but specifically it's very important how you introduce concepts, how you introduce your class, how you introduce uh, a new activity. It keeps the children, you know, um, very uh, excite, excited for something more. So that kind of energy is required when you're introducing things. At, and the counter side, how are you concluding? A fine a conclusion that makes the children feel satisfied about how you, you've taken them through a journey and concluded makes the children also feel satisfied. So, you know, be uh, perceptive to how are you concluding things, whether a concept or your class or the course. And now in between this introduction as well as conclusion, uh, how are you explaining? What kind of energy are you putting in to explain? Are you using different, different kinds of, um, you know, examples? Are you, um, you know, using Hindi in between? If you, that's the kind of audience you have, are you giving uh, example basis each child, how they are responding? So the kind of energy you put in to explain and the kind of, uh, you know, repertoire of examples you keep and you know, ready with that's important in a live class. You'll have a varied audience. How are you explaining after that? How are you uh, illustrating and what kind of, uh, uh, you know, illustrations you put in, what kind of images? So how are you going to use the blackboard is also very important. You have, if you're going to use a, uh, you know, pen and a graphic tablet, so then you'll have this blackboard. Uh, you'll probably keep a blank slide and you're going to write and explain. That's mostly how mathematics works. How are you going to align you know, whatever you're writing, um, however, how are you going to structure? Are you going to consolidate and put similar things on one, you know, slide? That's very important. How are you structuring and aligning things on your blackboard? Efficient use of space and alignment and structure keeps the child also clear. So that's important. And once uh, it's also important, what kind of stimulus you're giving? So, you know, are you varying your stimulus, audio, video, story, explanation, images? It keeps the child attentive rather than just a plain writing or, you know, image after image and explanation. So keep that energy and you know, stimulus variation is important. What kind of audio visual aid are you using? So keep that in mind. Now coming to the point is that uh, you know, are you perceptive to the children? This is very important. Now let's deal with the children. Are you perceptive to the children in your class? What kind of audience you have? How are they reacting? So when you discuss with them, when you talk to them, uh, when, you know, you will keep some silence at times and, you know, there are non-verbal cues that you might give when you ask questions. So questioning the children at, in, you know, intervals, regular intervals is very important. So to make them, you know, communicate and to make them express whatever they understood, make them comfortable with whatever they are answering, to make them feel, uh, you know, accepted in totality and, you know, encouraged to be able to express is also an art. So you do that with the children, they explain how do you probe further if the answers are not up to the mark or if they lack depth. Probing is a skill, questioning is a skill. Once you if you probe them and you might require some silence to give them you know, certain time to be able to answer. You can't be in a hurry all the time. That's also important. 
So do your non-verbal cues to encourage the children. They'll always see you on the webcam. So all these things are important. And it's also important how are you going to reinforce. It's very important to, you know, always reinforce what you've done across sessions. Keep bringing those concepts back. You know, keep asking questions on that. And reinforce those concepts so that by the end they've, you know, accumulated a set of concepts and re are ready for the next challenge, the next chapter. So keep in mind all these skills. They are uh, subtle and uh, you have to be very aware and alert and perceptive to your audience and uh, quite energetic as a teacher. So I wish you all the best and uh, may you enjoy your uh, teaching journey and may also the kids enjoy the time with you. I wish you all the best and we are here to guide you, help you and anything that you require us for. Thanks.